I lost a chip. It's the first time it happened. I just reviewed the footage and... <laughs> Hello friends. Welcome back to the bench. We have an urgent repair. Um, Subaru ECM. The misfire issues. Typical problem. No other camera. I got no shirt to clip on my <laughs> my microphone. So we're doing a quick version. Plus, I'm sick. So I should be in bed. But this is urgent. So let's get it done. The UPS guy just dropped it off. Um, so let's fix it and send it also with one day one day delivery. I lost the chip. It's the first time it happened. I just reviewed the footage and it caught on my on my sleeve over here. Uh, I put it over here, put it on my sleeve, and it fell into the tenth dimension. Uh, that's why it shouldn't work when you're sick. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i just grabbed the box with new chips <laughs> oh my god
All right, friends, and that will do. Um, I put uh, a little bit more solder on the ground pan, um, which causes the chip to be a little bit higher than normal. Uh, that's why I struggled with some of the pins. So this is the first time I'm doing it this way. Let's see if this is going to be just as effective as the um, starvation. Because normally that ground pan is starved. And honestly, I don't. Um, even if you didn't put any solder on that ground plane, there's still like five or six pins on that chip that connect to ground. I think that is uh, quite sufficient. So this is not something that I worry about, but we'll see. I think this will work just fine. All right, so that was the repair done with a uh, pretty high fever. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.